so far you've you've grown incrementally for the most part and yeah. done it really solidly. You have a good foundation and it's a solid, you know, track record and you've got momentum now. Do you foresee turning that incremental growth into more exponential growth through acquisition or through even being acquired? Definitely not be acquired. Um, we do have, uh, so we, three and a half, four years in, we did um, bring on a private equity partner. So we have private equity funded as well. Um, so, and that was just about accelerating the growth mm -hmm. even harder, investing even heavier between us. And we've got a great partner in place that we work work really well with. Um, so for us, um, no, we are open. We will explore uh, uh, acquisitions. Our biggest issue we have when we think about acquisitions is we are very unique as mm -hmm. a business. The way everything I just described on you, any right. plant, any plant that we purchase, we're gonna we're gonna be selling a lie. Then if we go sell to their customers yeah. without changing their total infrastructure, yeah. So who so, could you buy that you wouldn't change everything? Yes. Yeah. Yeah. Now that doesn't mean if you think about the minute we are mainly in labels is where our growth has come mm -hmm. and i think we've got a lot of runway there at the minute and i think um one of the big things we did in design and we believe here is we love very focused approaches so uh we don't want to be everything to everyone some with something to someone to start with so for us we have got a lot of runway still in labels and we're, we know we're very good at that and we're big on disrupting industries and um, we've got we get asked by customers all the time to go into different product sets shrink packaging for instance uh flexibles different when you go around that grocery store than the labels and we could go win loads of business straight away there in a current customer base but for us we only we want to do things very focused and very disruptively so sure. i think when we start to think about acquisitions in the future i don't i think right now we're very young as well as a business sure but yeah well, six years yeah we're growing very fast organically so we've got to make sure we control that growth to not to not fail and not let our current customers down or affect the current growth. Um, but I think that in the future, there is opportunities to investigate maybe different sectors, different categories like flexibles, for instance, and mm -hmm. then investigate and work about how then do we tweak it to our model to disrupt another industry like we disrupted labels. So you mentioned Eco Plus, I believe, um, yeah. is a product. Is that a tech product or is that a service? Eco Plus is more about our sustainability approach. Okay. So, yeah, that's about, uh, again, being a- Or maybe I was thinking of Print Plus. Print Plus, yes, Print yeah. Plus. That, that is a, yeah, it's a, it's a product that adds value to the customer. So it's a little bit around our model and how we okay. print differently. Very simplistically, Print Plus is, uh, it's effectively digitalizing print. So if you think about your digital printers at home, you click a button, don't you, and it prints. You don't have to set up a printer with all the different colors to make it print. So our our sort of print plus model is around about flex in our world, digitals presses make ready very fast, but run really slow. So if you're running a long order, they're very slow. The world we're in is called Flexo. So what that does is run really fast, but it takes ages to set the machine up. <laughs> so what we've done is sort of with print plus is digitalize that process. So we can <laughs> make ready and prepare our presses very fast, close to equivalent to digital but then run at flexo speed. So print plus is all the mechanisms and things we've put in place to be able to almost digitalize our flexo presses.